Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'd like to show you this great uh, YouTube player on Android. It's called New Pipe and it's available on F-Droid by the way. Just search for YouTube, you know. You have by the way a few others, but in my opinion New Pipe it's the best one for what I for what I need, you know. And it, by the way, it has some features that are not on the on the um, official YouTube player and also in many other. So there it is. You know this is the version 0 0.9.9, .9, so they are close to the one version number 1.0. And by the way, in here in Android, you can just try all the previous version. You know, just select one and install whatever you like. So what I'm showing you is the latest one. And there it is. And by the way, now I'm showing you the features that, uh, for me, make this application one of the best to watch YouTube players. By the way, this on, G on GitHub, they also have uh, a to-do list, and they want to add like a Tor support, so uh, integrated in the application. You know, you can, by the way, Tor somehow using like a somehow with Orbot, you can also use Tor with this application, but they want to integrate it, you know, so it will be easy to check or uncheck the Tor support. And also they want to expand the the playback, not just to YouTube videos, but to anything else. All right, so let's search for a video, Linux, for example, and just click on one, super random, this one. Okay, so here and probably you can also you can already see what's different. You can like run in the background here. You can run pop up. Okay, so maybe you are just uh, doing something else and you have your small pop up with the video. You can by the way download also or download the audio or both the video and the audio. You know, this is great. Because, you know, there are many videos in YouTube that basically they have no videos. Maybe there is just a picture or some pictures, you know. So what are interest, what is interesting is just the audio part, you know. So that's why it's also very useful to, to run in the background. So you can just go and take a walk or do sport or do something else. And you don't need to have your display on, you know. So... Let's, let's actually start a video. And by the way, I'm using the default player. Okay, you can also use an external video player, such as VLC, for example. And then the video from here will be redirected and will be streamed using VLC. But the default player, it's very good. I'm going to show you now. And also you can set, select the old player, so the previous one. The previous one so is not so feature rich as this one. Anyway, let's start. I'm going to turn the volume down here. And as you can see in here, you can select the quality, you know. So if you have like a shitty connection, you just three, select 360. And also you can turn landscape mode without uh, need to change the landscape, the mode on your smartphone, you know. You know, the, the rotation is off, but I'm still able to change landscape mode or portrait. Okay, and here you can also click on the left side, on the right side for the volume, you know, and the left side for the brightness. And this is independent, you know, from the from the from the phone uh, uh, settings. So maybe here it's 80 and then you just exit, you know, and then it's, it goes back to the original uh, brightness. This is another great feature. And here, you know, now go back to a higher brightness. Okay, that's the player. Very few feature, but super helpful. And then let's just run the audio in the in the background here. And now it's playing the background. There it is. You know. You can pause here or just go 10 seconds forward or backward.
there it is. And you can just close from here, or if you select another video, automatically it will just uh, will just close the the background one. And there it is. By the way, the resolution you can also select from here, and you can set like the defaults for resolution, for video format, audio format, also the path where the downloads are going. By default, it's for video, it's in movies, and then you pipe, and for audio, in music, and then you pipe folder. As I say, there will be like a Orbot uh, option, okay, to use Tor or not. This will be very useful to improve ano anonymity, okay, and also, by the way, to avoid censorship. That's it. Also, from here, you can download and you can select the the quality just as you can see MPEG for 480 there is no audio there so we just download the video I don't know why it's that but also you can download the video in 60 720 60 FPS but without uh, sorry you can download the video 720 60 FPS but without the audio no idea why it's that maybe this is going to be updated you know it's going to change on the next versions and that's it, by the way, just select the audio if you need, and select the format and the quality. All right, that's it. It's a really useful application, as you can see. What I like, it's the landscape mode. Super easy to change, you know, without changing the default phone settings. The background, so you are able, for example, if it's an interview or just uh, music, you know, some music, an album, an entire album, you can just play in the background without the need to to have your display always on, you know. So you can save a lot of battery. And to download a video, maybe you are going to work, uh, it took, took like one hour, so you can just download a video and just check it uh, while you are going to work, you know, on the train or whatever. So it's super useful, as I say, it's still in heavy development, so new features are coming up, Tor is coming, maybe other uh, other platform, not just YouTube, are coming. So if you want to try it out, it's there on F-Droid, it's free open source, and it's great. It's a really a good alternative to the crappy official uh, application. Alright, that's it. Hope it was helpful and see you in the next time, guys. Bye-bye.